This is Xiaomi Redmi Note 13 and today I will show how you can perform an initial system setup on this device. So you should be greeted with a welcoming page, something that will resemble this one with your respective system version. Tap at this arrow button, then select your setup language. Well, we'll obviously go with English. Then here you can increase or decrease the text size, as you can see, in order for it to be well, more readable if you have any visual impairments or something like that. So just improve the overall setup accessibility. Then we can continue by tapping at this blue uh, arrow button there. Now select your respective region. Wait until it gets set. Read and then um, accept and agree on the user agreement and privacy policy here. Now, optionally, you can already put your SIM card in or you can just skip this step and do that later on. That's up to you. At this stage, you can either, that's also an optional stage, you can connect your phone to the Wi-Fi and perform an online setup, but it's uh, nothing stops you, nothing prevents you from continuing, in, uh, continuing with the setup in the offline mode, so that's up to you. I will personally connect my phone to the Wi-Fi here. Then we can continue. Now wait until the next step is ready. Here you are presented with an opportunity to transfer your older system from your older phone. Uh, or you can just start over with a fresh brand new system here, which I'll go with. I mean, the option that I'll go with. So let me get back a few steps. Just select the don't copy option and you can continue with the setup. At this stage, you can either sign into your Google account or you can skip this step and do that uh, at any given point in the future. That's also completely up to you. Here you can change the Google services preferences, enable or disable location use, location scanning, uh, send in the usage and diagnostic data, and well, install in the updates and apps automatically. Now select what search engine you would like to use as your default choice. I'll go with Google. Here you can uh, set up the screen lock. Uh, you can either go with the classic options or use the biometrical data such as fingerprints or facial uh, data, or you can skip the step and leave your screen unlocked. That's once again up to you. Here you can review the additional apps that will be installed if you have internet connection, of course. And I'll just wait once again. Here you can change the basic settings such as location, the same usage and diagnostic data, sharing, automatic system updates, and so on. For me, I'll just switch off to personalize that here. Uh, user experience program. Those just will, will switch off everything that I do not find important. Now we can continue. Uh, at this page, you can set up the Xiaomi uh, wallpaper carousel feature that allows your lock screen to automatically change the lock screen cover image or lock screen wallpapers. So you will always have some healthy rotation of different images. If necessary, you can either agree to use this option or you can just skip this step. Now select what home screen style or default launcher you want to go with, classic one or the app drawer. And as you can see, the setup is more or less finished. Uh, now the system will prepare itself and just well, finish setting everything up, everything of importance. So just wait until it finishes and we can call it a day and wrap this setup up. So the setup has been completed as you can see and we can start using the phone and its system. So 
that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, thanks for your attention, and bye-bye.